Okay, today I'm going to read you this book, Snakes. It says, Snakes, learn the secret of these cold-blooded creatures. This is a non-fiction book, so I'm going to read this book expecting to learn about snakes. I already know some snake facts. I know that snakes are reptiles. I know some snakes are poisonous and some aren't. I know there are different kinds of snakes, like the corn snake and the rattlesnake. So as I read this book about snakes, I'll try to find some facts that I already know, but I bet I'll learn some new ones too. And as I think about the title, Snakes, Learn the Secrets of These Cold-Blooded Creatures, I guess I'm going to read this and think, what are the secrets of cold-blooded creatures? Will you be thinking about that too as we read? All right, so we're going to hold that question in our brains. What are the secrets of these cold-blooded creatures? Snakes. Oh, already here on the first page, I am seeing a text feature. I have found the table of contents, and I see that there are four chapters in this book. And then at the end, there's Did You Know? I'll have to take a close look and find out what exactly that is. And then Words to Know. So I'm thinking that's probably going to be like a glossary or something like that towards the end of the book. Let's see if we can get this a little more into focus. There we go. Hmm. So I see up at the top, Chapter 1, Snake Secrets revealed. Something slivers, slithers through the forest. It moves silently, looking from side to side through lidless eyes. It is covered in brilliant green scales. It seems to disappear into the leaves. It's a snake. Hmm. So as I think what I read about on this page, it says that snakes are covered with scales. It also says that they have lidless eyes. I didn't know that. So I'm wondering if these are snake secrets. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of information on these two pages. Let's see. So we've got the outside of the snake, and there's lots of labels coming off of the outside of this, telling me about the different body parts. This one says no ears, eyes, fangs, tongue, muscles, skin, and then it tells me some more information underneath about each of these different parts. And then this part over here is showing me the inside of the snake, the skeleton. And this is snakes are reptiles. Hmm. Crocodiles, alligators, turtles, and lizards are reptiles too. All reptiles are cold blooded. That means their blood stays the same temperature as the air around them. Here are the parts of the snake. So let's connect this page to chapter one. Snake Secrets Revealed. What are you learning about snakes from this section of the book? Let me think for a minute. What have we learned about snakes in this section of the book? Well, on this page, we learned that they were cold blooded and that their temperature stays the same as the air temperature. So if it's cold outside, then the snake is cold. If it's hot outside, then the snake is hot. So I wonder if that's one of their secrets. Snakes have no arms, legs, wings, or flippers. They can't walk or run, so snakes move forward. 
by tightening and relaxing their muscles. Some snakes, such as vipers, boas, and pythons, keep their front and back ends on the ground. They raise their middles up high, much like an earthworm. Sidewinders fling their, middle side, their middles sideways to glide along quickly. The black mamba can slither from side to side up to seven miles an hour. Doesn't sound fast, but I would think for a snake that's pretty fast. It's a, it is the fastest snake in the world. Sea snakes use their paddle-shaped tails to zip through the water. So we can see that he almost kind of looks like an eel. Okay. So what are we learning about snake secrets in this section of the book? What I want you guys to do is to take out your journals, zoom in, and you're going to label this page 6.5 snakes. Okay, and we just finished reading page 9, and I want to know what are you learning? So start your sentence, I am learning and then write down some things that you are learning about snakes. Go ahead and pause the video for a few minutes. Complete that sentence. And when you're finished, go ahead and come back. Okay. Now I see that we are starting a new chapter because I see chapter two up at the top. Snakes alive. So chapter one was snake secrets revealed. Chapter two is snakes alive. So I'm getting some clues from the pictures. I bet this chapter is going to teach us some snake facts, some true facts about how snakes are born. So I want you to think about something you already know about snakes and how they are born. Most snakes lay eggs. 40 or more eggs may hatch at one time. Some snakes lay eggs in nests and leave them to hatch on their own. Predators eat some of these eggs and baby snakes. Some snakes stay with their mother with their eggs and keep them warm. It's tough to do because snakes are cold-blooded. Mother pythons coil around their eggs and shiver. The shiver keeps the eggs warm. Hmm, this is interesting. Because this section of the book is teaching us about how snakes are born, how some mother snakes keep their eggs warm. But the whole book is about the secret of snakes. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Each page begins with some text that's in color. I'm thinking that maybe these are the snake secrets. And then the text below it teaches us specific facts about these secrets. Hmm. It's an interesting way to set this book up. Let's see. Okay, here's the secret in blue. Snakes live almost everywhere. What do you think some of the specific facts underneath are going to be if the secret is snakes live almost everywhere? wonder. So we're going to go back to our journals. And underneath where you did the writing earlier, we're going to write page 15. And we're going to title it just like the page, Snakes Live 
everywhere. That's kind of like our topic for this page. And underneath, using bullets, so you don't have to write in complete sentences, you can just jot things down. I want you to write some specific details or some specific facts that you think we're going to learn on this page about snakes living everywhere. Okay. All right, that's where we're going to stop for today. And you are going to upload this page into Canvas for me. And I will see you guys tomorrow as we finish reading our snake book.